Hello there. Welcome back, everyone. I'm a little bit late getting started today. What I'm going to do is, if I don't finish this right now, I'm going to do a midday stream tomorrow and finish it. Hmm. I feel like I should just use these two first and then use the 10%. Oh, so maybe I just use this some more. I was having good luck with that. Or how do I want to approach this? Hey there, welcome. How are you tonight? I'm trying to think how I want to approach this so that I can get the most XP from it. I wonder if it would be to use this one. My ADF. Yeah, it, yeah, it absolutely would be. Look at the reward percent on that. Whoa. <laughs> nice. That's bigger than any of the other ones that I have. Oh yeah, we're taking that out. I just need missiles. I'm good. Yeah. Well, hello. Welcome. Glad you could make it today. Good to have you here. I'm going to take the ADF out. Uh, this is the F-16A that you cannot give it anything other than missiles. That's it, just missiles. Um... Hmm. No. No, we're not gonna go with that. All IR. We're gonna go with this instead. Three? Three drop tanks? That's a lot of drop tank. Why do I need so many? I don't need that many. I'd be curious how it looked like to hit ground targets. <laughs> Three drop tanks. <laughs> After you finish them. Yep, and just drop them on the tank. I don't even think there'd be enough kinetic force there to do much. The plane before it in the tech tree gets a bonus for researching the vehicle after it in the tech tree. Uh, the plane I'm researching right now is the F-15A, of which I have 46,000 left. Very close. Let's go ahead and get in. I'm excited to have this one. This will be a good one. I feel like these were three major planes I remember from my childhood, in terms of planes that were frequently represented in either toys or media. The F-16, the F-15, and the F-14. With a little bit of cameo here and there from the F-117. I'm hoping it'll be today. If it's not today, I'm going to do a midday stream tomorrow. Because I want to do a entire stream of just the F-15. No matter how bad it is. I hear the stock grind is pretty rough. Where's everyone else? Over there. <laughs> the other direction. That's where. coming up to say hi. How you doing, friend? How wide? Oh, very wide. I should just use this for checking where stuff is. Oh, it's always very good. <laughs> I have one video I did, uh, I think it's in like day 400 or something, that's the F-14A in stock grind, and it it's tough, <laughs> it's rough. I think that might have been before 
you got players by default. So it's having to play flareless for at least enough matches to unlock flares. Or it used to be. Hey there, welcome. How are you doing? That was about. Who did that? Who popping flares next to me? Oh no! <laughs> I think he swung in a bit too low there. Maybe he was looking up and hit the wall. <laughs> like I was just about to. Oh! Oh! Players did not help. Yeah, players are now, uh, from the start, when you get into... I can't remember, is it rank 6? Uh, but they did start doing that. Because it is very, very rough. The way that they changed it was, you start out with a default type of flare, and then you unlock more... Uh, configurations like having chaff on you uh, or what priority of flare signaling you want to use well I would say I'm not used to playing this way let's do it again the only way I'm gonna get better at playing this way is to play this way This again? Okay. Hey there. Welcome to you. How are you? Um. I'll just go with that. That's fine. Right? I hope so. Well, welcome to War Thunder. How long have you been playing? And who are you playing as? And what do you like playing? I guess since I play all three modes, it gives you a good taste of everything. Hmm? Oh, hello there, friend. It's just my teammate being silly. about ready to throw up in the cockpit. <laughs> oh, you're 30k from the F-15. Very nice. I'm sitting at about 46. Mostly ground, uh, but haven't had much time since school. Yeah, school will do that to you. Having homework sucked. And hello to you. How are you? Yeah, I definitely had to, like, stop playing games a lot more when I went to college. It sucked. Yeah, big one. Yep, very close to the F-15. I'm hoping to get it tonight, but if I don't, I'm gonna do... It will happen tomorrow. Absolutely. I got that need to go zoom. Come on, catch up to me, people. Oh, 
Oh, 10k RP from your next tank. Now, uh, what tank are you unlocking? Right, over that way to the far right. That's where they're showing up. I would probably break it into two. I'd do like a part two for today's stream. And then when I did the actual uh, day 637 tomorrow, I would do that as an F15 stream. <laughs> gonna take a break from YouTube yeah it it, it does it, it is like that um, yep part of it for me was that I had already built the habit and I've just been adding small bits here and there as I've gone along you gotta gotta ease yourself through it but you jumped in the deep end real quick and so I think when you do decide to come back take a little bit slower you got time. It gets there. A little bit at a time. <laughs> Just as I fired. Oh. Look at that wiggly smoke. Oh, there it goes. Goodbye. Nope. Got him. All right, got one. Oh, no, 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 no. Nope, I want to focus on this one coming right at me. And that one's straight. Got him. Woo, got him. Would I like to see a magic trick? Sure, what kind of magic trick? Should you research the F-14B or the F-15? Hmm. Or the F-16C. Pardon. After the F-15. Um. I liked the B. But I went into it going for the AIM 54Cs, used them, and realized I preferred the A models. So I would say go for the F16C. Go for that one. So, what is the magic trick? By God, he's disappeared. Yeah, getting in slower is a much better way to do it. It's a lot to try to jump into all at once. I mean, if you go back to beginning of my channel, it's like 20, 30 days of no commentary. Just video stream. That's it.
but you got to figure out what pace works for you because not everyone's going to have the same pace but when you find the one that works for you it'll go pretty well oh that's a pretty good magic trick <laughs> he pulled eight quarters from behind my ear that's really cool <laughs> thank you so much It's a pretty good magic trick. Nope, that's the wrong button. No, gears up, not air brake out. It's like going to change the car in your manual and you accidentally slam the brakes instead. It's like, whoop, that wasn't supposed to happen. so high in the air. Go back down here. This is safer. Maybe. Sometimes. Nice. Thank you. That's a pretty good magic trick, too. I appreciate every little bit. Thank you very much to both of you. Uh, what made me start doing it? I'm... Hmm. I don't know. It, it felt like... I'm trying to find a way to describe it. It's like... It felt like the time. I, I, I don't know how else to describe that, really. It's... Something... It felt like my best option to accomplish what I was looking to do, what I wanted to create, was for me to just build content. Because there's more I would like to explore, build, but I don't really get the opportunities. So, getting into that just required me no, come on oh no sorry I'm trying to <laughs> trying to deal with this guy at the same time oh come on Whew, okay I'm gonna die soon anyway. actually maybe I'll just fly we'll do that I'm not dead yet we'll fly back I wanted to be able to do more, I would say, and I was growing kind of tired with everything I was seeing on the internet. I was watching some other YouTubers, streamers, stuff like that one day, and I was just like, I can do that. Why can't I do that? I know I can do that. So I just decided, well, I'm just going to then try it. I'm going to do that. And now here I am doing it. <laughs> I felt like I wanted to do more, and this felt my strongest option. This most embarrassing moment of my life. Oh yeah, they're very flare hungry. I mean, I've had so I've had my fair share of like weird experiences. I'm not really sure about embarrassing ones. Uh -oh. Something's locked onto me. Wait a minute, am I going the right? No, not quite the right direction. Oh, it's right there. Air brake on. 
I did not know it was right there. We'll, we'll get rid of all that speed. Come on, get rid of it. Get rid of it. We don't need it. We don't want it. We're good. We don't want it. Ooh, this is gonna be close. It's gonna be close. Ooh, I was fine. <laughs> Landed in the grass, but it was okay. It was freshly mowed. Oh, 17K, it's getting there. Uh, both of the F-16s that I have access to, the A model and the ADF model, are both fully researched. Um, all the planes in top tier right now that I have access to, in terms of the rank that these are in, are fully researched at the moment. The F-15 will be the next one that I need to complete it. like to look at the heads-up display. It's really cool. These things are so neat. They should be in more things. Why there's a thing called chat delay and stream. Chat delay exists. It's anywhere from 10 to 30 seconds. Hmm? What? There must be somebody on the other side of that mountain. No, oh, objective... Wait, what? Objective complete? What happened? What did I do? Oh no. I'm the only one alive. Alright, uh, how many are left on their side? Four. Oh, one of them just left. Uh, three. So my best bet is going to be to go low. Turn off the radar. And just hope this goes well. That F4, where are they moving to? They're moving almost parallel to me. Where am I heading? Okay, so they're heading back to the base. And that F16 is moving to hit a strike point. Um, I am planning on streaming a little bit later tonight in Lethal Company. I'll be playing that for a little bit. Chasing him. Yes, uh, um, I will be playing Lethal Company currently with Ox. And going to be testing out how well I can get everything working. Got him. Alright. 
On to the next one. There are two left. One of them, I imagine, might have headed back to the base. This other one was out here. Oh, there he is, right there. I was waiting to see if my wing would uh, line up with him. Well, I think I made a pretty good fight there. That was good. I like that. Uh, the voice chat will likely be in the game to take advantage of the game's voice chat feature. I'm just going to try with the um, one person tonight, but I would love to do more in the future with more people. I just kind of want to test and make sure everything works fine first. No, oh, it's getting very close. Very close. 25k left. Oops. Got to use that. Uh, go ask in the Discord um, organization uh, chat how people might want to organize. But that might be a future thing. But I am interested in doing that. Hmm? What's that paint job? Is that the standard? That can't be the standard. Is it? No. Is it? No. It's neat though. There's a roll. I agree. Ready to scream. <laughs> Maybe. We'll have to see. My mic I haven't tested it. This will be a great test for it. I'm sure I will at least get shocked gasping. Ooh. A little bit like that. <laughs> so, let's see what happens. Oh, it's a big map. Big map. Let's turn on the computer then. Watch some YouTube. While I wait to get there. It does feel like I'm getting a lot more experience points now. Research points, whatever they want to call them. Points. Using this one with the, like, 300% extra... <laughs> Yes, there's a Discord link uh, down in the description uh, for the video. There's a few other social media things on there, but none of them really do much at the moment. They just kind of exist to take up space that might get used in the future. Placeholders, if you will. Uh 
yeah, go um, go chat about it in the Discord uh, so that we can get it better organized. That's where I'm putting everything together. Oh yeah, I know what the back rooms are. I think I have a back rooms video up on the channel actually, because I did play a back rooms game. Uh, I played well. I played a back rooms type game, the complex. That was the one that I played. Oh, he got me. <laughs> Get out. Yeah, I'm not sure where it is in the list, but somewhere out through there all is me playing the complex, I think. I think. I can't remember. Well, that was short. Next one. Nope, that one's not VR. That one was just a regular game. But it basically had a really good um, camera view, and the way the environment looked in it looked very good. Yeah, I, I definitely should do more horror games. So far, the only stuff I've really done is a couple Amnesia the Bunker videos, uh, that one, The Complex, and Project Zomboid, which, not really in the same vein, but I still consider a horror game. playing a VR backrooms game. Yeah, I can see that being intense. VR definitely enhances things quite a lot. Amnesia is a great one. I intend to finish that in the future. I just have not gotten a chance to. I was thinking about restarting it and using the B instead. And with the little uh, items that I had made for it, the French helmet and the French revolver that he's carrying in the thumbnail. Because I could attach them to the VTube character. And hello there to you! How are you this evening? It is a Friday. That's a pretty good thing. That pretty good. Oh wait, I should go buy one of them boxes with the war bonds after this so that I can get some more uh, bonuses. Thank you. I'm glad you like the bee. It's been a lot of fun to draw and do things with. And I feel like it helps fit the vibe, what I'm going for, really well. Oop, that's the wrong button. Nope, that's not the right button either. <laughs> this is the right button. Nope, the F-14s are uh, playing dueling missiles. We oh, just binged all of Kane Pixel's backroom videos. They're pretty good. It, it, very interesting stuff. Clever little morph and take on some of the other stuff that were happening like uh, a decade prior. 
any multiplayer game with you as a horror. <laughs> well, it's good to know. It'll, en it'll enhance this one. Yeah, and I like having the bee a little bit simple because it does let me do things like make items for it really easily. I was just testing a bit earlier. I made a spear for him. Uh, it's from the Elden Ring videos. When I made that thumbnail, I had drawn a spear. Well, I the spear was on a different layer, so I imported it into its own file and created an item out of it for V2. Where am I going? I think I'm lost. Am I lost? Anybody out there? Anyone? I don't see anything. Okay, it's tracking that one. A small tank on head. Little tank. Another one that I would uh, like to see, I'm curious what I can set them up to as triggers, because that would be very interesting. Like, uh, if I was playing, say, a game with night vision, that when I hit the night vision button, the B would put little night vision goggles on, as well. What do I think about the new Amsterdam map? Um, I'm not sure. I had not really caught it and paid attention to it yet, I think it was probably the thing I could say. I think I knew it existed, but I could not tell you off the top of my head what map that is. Can you get him, buddy? Nope, somebody got him. Oh, the forbidden heat source. Got him. There we go. Got him. You watch me to not feel lonely. But I can provide that for you then, so that it's not so rough. Loneliness can get to you. Because there's a difference between being lonely and being alone. Uh oh. Nope, stop burning that afterburner. I'm gonna burn all my fuel straight to the ground. Oh, no. Nope, that happened. Popping out. I'm glad I can make the day even a little bit better. That's a pretty good thing. getting here. It's still going. Still going. Oh, there's two waiting to complete. Wait a minute, was that three? Okay. Uh, two. I did not get much for that one. Oh, I wanted to go buy those things. Where are they? Right here. Yes. Just do it. Nope, not what I wanted. 
This one? Nope, not what I wanted. This one. I'll take it. Better than nothing. It's good for one mission. All right, sure. Oh, they're only good for one day. I didn't even realize that. I was wondering if I should just take this out to increase the chances I get a kill with just one of the big missiles. <laughs> I'm just going to do that. If you made your profile pick a snail, would it be copyright with Gaijin? Uh, only if it looked like theirs and you were trying to pass it off as theirs. Like, if it was in a completely different style from theirs in some way, that might be okay. They might ask you to differentiate it a bit more sort of thing. But the copyright issues usually come up across trying to imitate their likeness as well. The easiest way to know is go check their content creator policies. They do have a big list of them. I have read them. Most of it I understood. There was some of it I wasn't quite sure. Alright, let's, let's see if I can get a, a kill or two this way. Oh, I hope I can too. I really want to. Up to space with you. I would love to get a print of that photo of the F-15 firing an anti-satellite missile. It's it's near vertical and flown straight up to quite a tall altitude. It's just a great picture. We found a fun co-op naval game. What is it? Inquiring minds would love to know. It says it can hit. I'm not sure I trust it. <laughs> you know, uh, okay. I'll believe you. You do your best. That one. Let's dive down. Oh, very nice. Assassin's Creed Black Flag. That's a fantastic game. Man, I love playing that. That was a that was just a great game. There was so much good to it and so much to do that was just so in atmosphere and in theme. Well thank you on that. Yep. They hit 1,000 subs. Very exciting. Got him. I hit him. I only got one. I got one. Woo. Yeah, I would say for the snail war thunder thing, the biggest thing is go check their policies about it. 
Um, they do have them written down. And it's a little dense, but it's not too bad. And plus, if you want to do content creation, I feel like that's a good thing that you need to learn how to do is reading the legalese of the games and stuff that you want to show. Because there are certain games from certain companies that you are not allowed to stream it at all. Like, they will copyright strike you for streaming any of it. Usually from what I've seen, it is much more strict um, Japanese games that are like that. Uh, usually RPGs of some types. How do you find the policies? Uh, look up in YouTube, War Thunder content creator policy, I would say. Torn between the technology program and... I can't read that one. The little icon keeps blocking. Give me one second. And the flight technology program. Hmm. I guess some of it is going to depend on what you want to do for work. And who you might intend to work for. Because one, while it might give you access to better skills, might make it easier to get into the place that you want to get into. So there is kind of a balance there to find. But to some degree, I would think both of those depending on your location, should be about the same to find work. Because, unfortunately, we have to think about stuff like that sometimes in that manner. If you can find a great balance of what interests you and what also can find you work, like, that's a good thing to have. Uh, turn between IT, IT related stuff, and flight stuff. Gee, I'm not sure. IT is changing all the time. Um, flight stuff feels like it sticks around the same way for a bit. In terms of what I think there's more money in and more possibility for work, I would say IT. Uh, just because Quite frankly, there aren't enough IT people. And there's actually less being produced as time goes on. While the need for it continues to increase. Oops, nope, up. So... IT is good, but flight I could definitely see as one of those things where that's a passion of yours, and you really want to take that route. If you knew a place, or knew the places that you would be applying to to work with the flight one, I would say go for that one if that's your passion, because IT changes so quickly that as long as you have an interest in that, you could probably do it still, even with that. Whereas going just IT could limit you instead of being able to do flight stuff. You might be stuck doing back-end stuff, like managing airport servers, stuff like that. Or possibly, you know, fixing the communication systems. Where am I going? There's a target. That's not what I want. What? I don't know what is going on. 
going on with my missiles right now? What are you guys doing? Oh, hey, I got one. I got one. Oh, I got two. I got two. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't shoot me. Don't shoot me. Oh no! Oh baby, a triple! Nice. <laughs> I shall now proceed to take your advice without a second thought. Blame you for any hurdles that might cause for me in life. <laughs> nice. I understand completely. <laughs> uh. Yeah, the high school one is different because depending on your location, the US version of high school is what amounts to like technical school for a lot of other countries. Um, and when they speak of what we consider grades nine through 12, they mean something else. I can't remember what it is. Uh, somebody from one of those nations if you can remind me How close are we getting? Oh! Oh, nice. I'm about to hit 3 million. Well, that won't stay there long. How much is it going to cost me? Like 1.5? Oh, man. I'm so close. One more. We're going to make sure this happens. Is it? To me, high school, it wasn't the work that's necessarily harder. That stuff's fine. It's dealing with... High school is where social relationships change. A lot. And considerably. Um, it's where you begin having to worry about, well, what happens once I am on my own? Those things, I feel, are more difficult than the actual school. Yeah, AP classes would definitely add to the stress, considerably. Yep, I think of it like periods of, I like to use the old tick and talk analogy that Intel coined years ago, because I think you can apply it to a lot of different things. The idea was innovation and iteration, I think it is, is that on the tick of development, you look to iterate. And on the talk of development, you take that new innovation and iterate upon it, you improve it. And then it goes back and you start with innovating again. And you can apply that to like taking a break to study things and then coming back to a thing. So like if you took a break from YouTube, decided to study up on some different things, just increase your knowledge of the world, and then come back and 
do some more. And then after a bit of that, you take a break again, expand yourself again, and come back and innovate on what you were doing. That kind of idea. But you've got many, many years, and as long as you put in tiny amounts of effort, a little bit at a time, you'd be amazing how far things can get. You would be amazed, anyway. What? No, not that one. Not that one. Not that one. That one. What are you, what are you doing? Missile. Work with me here. Please. Whatever. Do your best. We can do it. Come on. Why is it not locking onto him now? Don't know. And yeah, and also set a... Because, like, don't compare to what I'm doing. I'm not in school anymore. I have a active... 40 hour a week job that is a set amount of hours per week and I have a set amount of time in the evening every day that I can do this and work on this uh, I'm at a different point in my life you will have similar experiences as well oops oh, he got it But yeah, you can always come back. Take a look at how old my channel is and when I actually started posting videos. This channel's old. And I just randomly one day decided, you know what, I'm gonna start posting videos. Technically not even posting videos. I make a stream and then YouTube posts the video. Uh, swimmingly. Please let it be enough. Is it enough? Oh my god, you're kidding me. Okay. We got this. This is over. Now. How old is my channel? Well, I've actually I've been streaming for about nine months. Is when I started doing videos. The actual channel is somewhere between like Yeah, I started streaming about nine months ago. But the actual channel is somewhere around like uh twelve years? Something like that. Eleven. So yeah, something like that. That was off a little bit. <laughs> Hello there, welcome to you. How are you today? Nope. 
There they are. Found them. Well, thanks for stopping in. I hope you have a good night. Five. Fifty-two. Launching. On to the next one. Missile away. And now for his friend. You go too. Number four. Fire and forget. But I'll never forget you. The F-15 is great. I also find it interesting when vehicles only end up with certain nations, and the F-15 being one of them. It also has a very strange history when it comes to copyright and the use of its image in media. Uh, it's one of the few that has had a very problematic history there. I believe it's part of the reason why it was never brought to DCS as long as it was is just because of those issues that were an issue. I think they expired a few years ago. Somebody that's more knowledgeable on the subject would know better. Oh no! Oh! Oh! Close. That was, that was close. I'll go this way now. Oh yeah, Italy has such a hilarious collection of jets. It's amazing. Oh! Joe, oh, couldn't aim down. Uh, for what period of time was I, am I already playing this game? Uh, I only do the hour a day. But before I started streaming, I definitely did not do an hour a day. It was a bit more infrequent than that. Oh no, buddy, buddy! Please don't kill my teammate, he's my friend. Yes! Yes! You are welcome, Midori! Oh no! I did it, though! Let's go! That was a good match. That was fun. I got three. Very nice. I want to get stream sniped. Uh, it's easier in something like naval because nobody plays it. <laughs> uh, will I ever try streaming DCS? Um, maybe. I did stream DCS in the past. I have a video, well, a stream of me trying to start a bunch of different vehicles and get them to take off. Uh, the only one I was able to was the F-16, which I promptly crashed into a tree. The other ones I just struggled with. <laughs> That's about it. But I ended up making a video out of the F-16 one, but there's unused footage in the live stream. <laughs> Don't sting you. I ain't gonna sting you. Don't worry. You are welcome here. You are a friend among bees. I am happy, B. Look at Big Smile. Big eyes. Big round. No idea. We might. You can find us at your local grocery store. <laughs> That's how we fund the B military. <laughs> Through our preserves, we field our reserves. <laughs> uh, 
Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, of course. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds about right. That's perfect. I know it's just because I'm waiting for the other one to finish, but it's amazing to see it that close. It's just always so funny to me. Then why they make USB? <laughs> More B. Is there a USC now? Is that a thing? I know there's UFC, but not USC. Is there? I want the F-15 so much. I do too. I'm just sitting here staring at this, waiting for it to finish. Oh, no. Did it finish it? No, it hasn't yet. Come on. Finish. Please. Oh, well, thank you for that. Thanks for the sub. I'm glad you enjoy the videos. Or enjoy the, uh, the, the fun bee demeanor. <laughs> Whichever it is. Glad to have you here. Come on. Come on, please. Test flight. <laughs> I'm gonna go fly it and pretend I have it. And maybe when I'm done, I will have it. No, look. This will be mine soon. Yes. I do want to play this one in VR. I think this would be a fun plane to play in VR. Well, thank you for that. I'm glad you like my voice. I know that can be a strong thing. It's, uh, I know it is because I recently started watching like Iron Pineapple and I was just entranced. I sat and watched about like five, six, ten videos of his in a row. It's just like, okay, wait, what? Well, how'd happen? How much time has passed? <laughs> what year is it? Don't you have missiles? Oh. Uh, if you're interested in playing, join the Discord. I actually do do squadron flying, and the squadron in War Thunder that we have is open to everybody. So, yeah, if you're interested, go ahead and join. Like, I can't do it right now, but I do plan it for people in the future that want to do it. And if you're only interested in doing a match or two, that's fine too. I don't even require voice if you don't want to. If you just want to join and be a sidekick and follow my lead, I'm cool with that. <laughs> my voice is very calming. I just take a nap. Nice. That's a good sign. That means people can leave a playlist of me running and forget it's running. Why have I chosen B as face? Um... Th there is story to it. But I eventually settled on B. I basically wanted something that kind of captured some of the ideas and things that I felt made up aspects of me. Like, I really like bees. I think they're a very cool insect. I think the way that they have developed eusociality and the abilities and characteristics they have developed from the hive-mindedness is really interesting. Um, so, like, I'm a computer engineer. I work in IT. Hive minds and group intelligence, uh, gestalt consciousness, these things are really, really interesting to me. And in wanting to come up with a character, a mascot of some kind that I felt would work well for the demeanor and personality I wanted to bring across, I eventually settled on the beat. And now we have the F-15. 
Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Purchase. Purchase, purchase, purchase. Train, 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 train. All right. F-16C. Okay, finally unlocked. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the secondary weapons I can field, because first things first, we're gonna make a custom that doesn't have so many of the drop tanks. Realistically, I only need one. Uh, probably not even that. Although I guess you could take one just to help you not have as much fuel once you reach. Oh, expert crew it. Oh, that's not a bad idea, actually. I don't know if I can, actually. The level on it is very low. I might not be able to. No, I need to get level 35 before it'll let me. No. Well, 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 maybe. No. <laughs> if we do that, that'll be tomorrow. So, that's going to be everything for tonight. So, thank you, everybody, so much for joining. I hope you all had a good time, and I hope you can all join tomorrow for... F-15 night. We will be playing from stock, and you can watch me struggle with it, because oh boy, I hear it's a struggle. So I hope to see you all there. Until next time, take care, and goodbye.